Hi, it's Leah from A Relax Gal here, and I'm coming to you bare face because I've actually just washed my face with a couple of products. So I've got two facial products that I got from Shea Moisture to try out, and I decided to do a get unready with me type of video. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. The first step in getting unready for the day is to take off my makeup using a facial wipe. And the facial wipes I use are from Walmart. They're the Walmart store brand. They're Equate facial wipes. I find that they work just as well as the name brands, but they're a lot cheaper. And I like to use a facial wipe to take off my makeup just to make sure I'm getting all of my makeup off because even though cleansers are supposed to help take off your makeup, they don't always get everything off unless you wash your face multiple times. Sometimes I might even use both sides of the wipe just to make sure I've gotten a lot of the makeup off of my face. So then I'm cleansing my face with the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Detoxifying Foaming Facial Wash with Aloe. And to activate the charcoal, you need to shake it up a little bit. And then you pump out the the cleanser. And as you can see, the pump doesn't quite work that well, so I have to pull it up because it doesn't come up on its own. And then I just work the cleanser into my face. Now this African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Detoxifying Foaming Facial Wash, um, it's supposed to dip, deeply cleanse and detoxify your skin of dirt, impurities, and makeup. And it's gentle and sulfate free. And the African black soap is to help clarify your skin. And then the bamboo charcoal helps to balance your oily and blemish prone skin. So this is supposed to be good for those of us who have oily skin, who are prone to like pimples and breakouts. And then this cleanser also has um, cooling aloe to help soothe and nourish your skin. And all of this is supposed to leave your skin feeling clean, smooth, and refreshed. So to take the cleanser off of my face, I wet my washcloth and then just wipe it over my face and get the cleanser all off. And then I go for a second round with the cleanser just to make sure that everything is off of my face to get all the dirt, all the oil, all the makeup is off and then my pores aren't clogged. And this time around, instead of doing three pumps, I tend to do two pumps because I don't need as much because my skin should be pretty much clean by now. I'll also like cleanse my neck this time around because sometimes I might get like breakouts on my neck and this cleanser has really helped with that. And then after doing the second cleansing, I will wipe all of it off my face and then I'm ready to move on to the next step, which is toning my skin. And I have a homemade toner that I like to use. And this homemade toner has the ingredients of apple cider vinegar, some witch hazel, some tea tree oil, and some filtered water. I use a clean um, cotton ball and just work it all over my face and into my skin to really just make sure I'm getting rid of any of the leftover dirt, oil, or makeup that the cleanser might not have gotten off. Then after toning, I take a blemish control gel and I do some spot treatments on certain parts of my face. Um, if I have any kind of patches of breakouts or I have a pimple that looks like it's beginning to form or is on its way out, I use this just to make sure I'm taking care of that and getting rid of these breakouts. So to moisturize, I'm using the African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Hydrating Jelly Moisturizer. Yes, it's jelly, not jelly or geely. Um, and it's got aloe in it. And this is also good for blemish prone skin. And it's said to really hydrate with an ultralight gel formulation and it's supposed to help balance your oily and blemish prone skin. I have to say, I do feel like it does balance my oily and blemish prone skin. I feel like it has helped to keep my blemishes at bay and it's also helped to keep my skin not looking very oily. The only thing I have found is that it's not very hydrating for me and that's probably because my skin isn't all overall oily, it's co more combination skin. So then I found that I have to follow up with my regular cream moisturizer that I tend to use and put that on top to really make sure that my face feels moisturized and not dry before I go to bed. 
And after applying my moisturizers, then I'm all done and ready for the night.